Hello YouTube, it's Steve. So right in front of me I have Jennifer. She is a uh, pink hair Gorai, but uh, Gorai just seemed a little uh, generic, so I went with Jennifer. I think it, I think it sounds the part. And don't forget, if you want to pick up any Frame Arms Girl kit, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com and use promo code Krosama to get 10% off. So, let's go on to the review. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the white is very nice and bright. The black contrasts very well with it. And then of course when you get to the hair, whatever color you choose, it's going to look super nice with her. And I didn't do any painting, no decals, no panel lining. So this is essentially an out of box review. Now in terms of articulation, she is going to be quite poseable. Uh, the only downside is probably going to be maybe some of the head articulation and maybe the elbows. But the knees, the hips and everything, they actually work pretty damn good. One thing I love the most about her is that you can actually lower the chest plate a little bit. Obviously with consent, of course. And moving on to accessories, she is going to have a left looking face. One looking to the right. One looking straight. And lastly, a screaming face. So each face does have its own unique personality. Uh, even if it is a fair bland of personality. But the screaming face is probably going to be your go-to. Now for hands, you are going to have fists. Open hands with the fingers spread. Open hands with the fingers together, gripping hands, and lastly gripping hands with the index finger pointed. And like all Frame Arms girls, you can use these hands to put her in some pretty expressive poses. So this kid is going to come with different color hair, but in order to do that you are going to have to do a little disassembly. Here's Susan, and this is Mina, she's more of the, the bitchy one of the group. But I'm going to stick with Jennifer for the rest of the review. So she is going to have a little bit of a problem standing up, but luckily she's going to have these treads on the back of her legs, so that way she can stay up and she can move a little bit faster and have a little more mobility. And as far as weapons, she is going to be packing a shoulder cannon. So this thing is going to be pretty damn cool, and you can put it on either side of her backpack, but ultimately it is going to have a little bit of articulation. And her next weapon is going to be this combat knife. It's going to have like a little like handle so that way any port on her body you can plug it in and it can essentially carry the knife. And it's going to be her only melee weapon so if you're going to want something else you're going to have to look at the MSG line. Which is actually pretty cool. They have a lot of different types of melees. Weapons, swords, you know, drill, all that kind of stuff. And next is going to be these two clear shields. So they're actually pretty damn cool. Uh, you can either connect them on the top of the shoulder or you can connect them on the side of the arm or any port that you really want. They're also going to be in this nice clear kind of plastic smoky look. So it's it's kind of out of place in my opinion. I think it, it would have been a little bit better if it was a, a more solid color. But you know regardless I think it looks good nonetheless. Now looking at main weapons. She's going to have this pistol that has two holsters. And with the pistol, she's going to be able to pull off some pretty damn cool poses. Ooh, damn. Have a stand in your collection, so maybe it's time to go ahead and dust off that stand and, you know, put her some flying dynamic cock poses. And this gun can actually cock back. The next one is going to be the revolver, and this too is going to have two different holsters. And of course, I think the revolver is pretty damn cool, to be honest. And you can also bend it forward to reenact replacing the rounds. And that last weapon is going to be a submachine gun. And of course in that glossy black, it is going to look so damn good. Obviously I would recommend you doing something to it if you want to just you know, add some painting details to it, some uh, decals, whatever you really want. It's going to look a lot better. But regardless, in its plain form, I think it's pretty damn cool. Now with her weapons and shield attached, she is going to have a lot of options when it comes to just how you want to deploy her. Do you want her with two weapons in hand? Do you want her with both shields, the over the shoulder cannon? It's up to you. There's going to be a lot of posing, posing options, so that's always a big plus in my book. And boy, oh boy, I cannot forget about the undressing accessories. By far the best of all accessories. And don't forget that this is going to come with water slide decals, so you can apply them wherever you want. So for my final thoughts, I think Jennifer is goddamn beautiful. Uh, she's fantastic, uh, pretty damn posable for a fairly older kid. Um, I think the treads look fine, the overall weapon load set is pretty damn cool, and the shields are a nice touch, but that's it for me guys, so uh, definitely thank you for watching, and if you can, go visit NewTypeHQ.com, check out all the other Frame Arms Girls, Megami devices, and everything else over there, and don't forget to use that promo code, Krosama, for 10% off, but uh, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to do, because uh, things are getting dark, guys, it's uh, 
there's not a lot of light here, so I, I don't know what the hell's going on, but uh, I'll be seeing y'all in the next unboxing and uh, another video or whatever the hell I'm going to be doing. Alright guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye. How much longer are we going to have to do this?